Well, for a lot of us, our pets are just like family members. The true testament to that is the money that we spend on them. According to the American Pet Products Association, Americans spent about $52 billion on their animals just last year. To put that into perspective, that's more money than we spend on coffee and bottled water combined. Break it down a little bit farther. The ASPCA reports it costs about $695 each year to own a medium dog, about $670 for a cat. This afternoon, here are a few steps that you can take to avoid some common pet costs. How do I spoil my pets? That's easy. I, uh, I'll give them the leftover rib bones and cheeseburgers every now and then. From toys to treats, it's hard not to spoil our pets. But you may be spending too much on everyday costs. One of the biggest pet expenses, vet costs. To save cash, look into teaching hospitals, shelters, and branches of the Humane Society. All offer discounts on vaccinations, spaying and neutering, and other services. And try to hold back on splurging for pricey toys. Pets don't care how expensive a toy is, so opt for something that'll last a long time. Like a Kong ball. Costs $10 and it's virtually indestructible. For cats, laser pointers and even old paper grocery bags can do the trick. <laughs> well, another way to avoid unnecessary vet fees, stop smoking. Particles from secondhand smoke can settle in on fur, increasing the animal's risk of asthma, lymphoma, bronchitis, and lung cancer. In fact, did you know, cats are more likely to have oral cancer if their owner smokes. Another way the cost can really start to add up, if your pets chew up your belongings and we've got to replace them, trust me, I have lost two Kindles to our dogs. It can happen to you too. It's estimated American pets have bitten, chewed, licked, and otherwise damaged eight million dollars in electronic devices every year. Well, lucky for us, there are steps that we can take to stop that destruction. And joining us today to tell us more is pet behavior expert Arden Moore. Arden, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, pause up, Jimmy. How's it going? Pause up, pause up. It's a wonderful thing. So here's the big question. How do these accidents happen? Oh, you know, there was a survey recently done by Square Trade, a national survey. And like you, I was blown away. This protection plan company that helps our devices found out that it's costing us taking a big bite out of our wallet three billion dollars in damage to our iPads our smartphones our Kindles sorry yeah and our laptops <laughs> and all these other amazing devices we can't live without we can't live without our devices we can't live without our pets we got to figure out a solution because it's costing us ka -ching, ka ching a lot of kibble a, a, a lot, lot of kibble. kibble. Thank yeah, you very yeah. much. So, Arden, we're talking eight yeah. million devices. You just said three billion dollars all total. Can you break that down for what we're talking? We're talking like you could buy the Boston Red Sox team three times. <laughs> three times. We're talking about like thirty luxury liners. I don't know about you, but I just don't have that in my wallet today. You just don't so have it. So I'm here to help you and your pets. Yeah, I just I forgot. I left it in my other wallet. I'll have to go get it. But three billion dollars. Oh my gosh. Arden, I was blown away by that study. Are there certain things, certain characteristics, certain traits that we can spot in our animals that, that might tell us that they're kind of gonna lean that way? When they start looking and drooling when you bring out your iPad. No, oh. I'm just kidding. When they they tend to be overprotective pets. They tend to be overweight pets. I mean, think about a Great Dane that's a little chubby and your smartphone or iPad, who's going to win that weight war? Uh, bored pets, I'm sitting home alone. I can't text. I got no thumbs. <laughs> I think that I'm going to see how long I can paw slap that iPad off the kitchen <laughs> counter. And also, our pets that sleep with us, sometimes they snore, but they drool, and in the middle of the night, they might get the munchies, and if you fell asleep with your iPad or your Kindle, it might be a midnight snack. Ah, so is there any way that we can sort of assess ourselves to see if maybe somehow we're developing <laughs> a pet that way? Yeah, I want everybody to sit, stay, and listen. Here's what we can do. First of all, think like your pet. If I'm a cat or a dog and I see all these dangling cords, I think it's a mouse tail. I'm ready to oh. pursue, hunt, kill, chew in half. You need to get these guys in casing, protective chew-proof casing. 
You need to think about your, this is, oops, this one didn't make it. Mm. You think, need to think about your smartphones, like very expensive as they are, things that you need to protect. Don't leave them out on your counters. Don't leave them open in your purse. The reason being, I'm talking now, I'm going to put on my dog and cat hat right now, my collar. I see this. It has your scent on it. That means I got to investigate it. I don't investigate it by writing you a text. I investigate by doing this. Ah, la, la, la. Crunch. Ah. So you got to you got to think like a dog. You also need to get a protection plan. Seriously. 99 bucks for 2 years. The people at Smart Trade, they're not asking you what happened. They're going to replace it. I don't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to replace my smartphone. So that's what I'm going to do. The other thing, if you walk your dogs, like I do, I have two dogs, Chipper and Cleo. I have a clip on my phone that I put on my waist, and that way I can actually walk my dogs, and I'm not juggling a smartphone with a leash, because I guarantee you, Jimmy, as soon as your dog sees squirrel, 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 <laughs> you're off. They're gone. Right? And there goes your phone. The phone goes, wee! Your dog goes, wee! Right. And you go, wee! <laughs> Arden, thank you so much for the information so this afternoon. Yeah. Some great stuff. Appreciate that very much. I think some I'm going right, to thanks, Jimmy. take home and work on myself. Well, while we're talking about pets, we'd like to remind you about Pet Connect. It's a feature on DelmarvaLife.com. Pet Connect is a free service to help lost pets get back home and abandoned pets to find new homes. Now, if you have found or seen a lost animal or lost a pet, or you're interested in giving an abandoned pet a forever home, use Pet Connect. Be sure to share it with all of those in your social networks. To check it out, all you have to do to find out about Pet Connect is go to DelmarvaLife.com. You'll find it on the right side of our home page. Well, up next on Delmarva Life, Lisa checks in from the Ward Museum in Salisbury, where they're getting ready for the annual Art in Nature Photo Festival. Find out how you can enter or see beautiful works of art. And, yeah, we're at it again, trying to figure out where Brian is on Delmarva, and he's standing by with our first clue. Brian? All right, here is your first clue. Clue number one, pay close attention. The town used to be the capital of the county it's in. I'll have one more clue, and then I'll reveal where I am. Stay with us. You're watching Delmarva Life. We will be right back.